So my favorite craft to do whenever I have a bunch of friends over is painting canvases. It's so easy, it's so simple to do, and you may be thinking to yourself, uh, Mary Grace, it actually isn't that easy, and I'm not an artist, so why would I paint a canvas? Wow, that was a very long thought, but don't worry. Anybody can make a piece of art, and I'm going to show you a really easy way to decorate a canvas. If you're ever like short of um, inspiration, this should help you out. So... Let's get to the craft. Okay, so what you need for this craft is a mug with water inside of it for your paints. So yes, and if you're like, I don't have a mug, guess what? You can go to my Etsy shop, Wicklines, and get some real cute mug. You'll also need a paintbrush. This is the one I use. It's a Cotman Windsor Newton. It really does not matter. You'll also need watercolor paints. Oh my gosh. <laughs> My palette's just coming apart. Watercolors. Um, this clearly is like really messy. And you'll also need a canvas. Yay! You'll need washi tape. I use washi tape because it's not very sticky and so I can easily peel it off of canvases without being much it. So. so, first things first, you're gonna take the canvas and you are going to tape it up we're just going to cover it in tape making shapes so like take your canvas you're going to layer down and then you're going to take the tape from this and you're going to place it on the canvas in whatever design you want to do just know when we actually paint the canvas that paint is not going to go where the washi tape is so you're placing the washi tape down so that no paint can go there. So I'm going to try to keep it as straight as possible. I'm going to just lay it down. Oh, got my hair in there. That was unintentional. And just, yeah, come and tape it down, bring it all the way around. So see, we did it like that. And then we're going to just keep doing that, covering all types. Don't like use your favorite washi tape or get washi tape you're like this is so pretty because we are going to end up tearing it off and i mean it would actually make a really pretty thing if you just left the washi tape on that's my favorite thing about art and crafts is you get to do whatever you want with it like let your creativity flow i'm just going to give you a little guide to how to do this one thing but if this inspires you to do something completely different Follow it. That's what art is. Art is about getting to express yourself in any way you want. This is just to help inspire you. So we're just keep doing this um, until you have like a design that you like. Okay, so this is what mine looks like once I've covered it all with tape. And I just realized that like there's going to be a big block here that has nothing but that's art. Okay, so once you have your canvas all taped up like this, I'm just going to set it here so that y'all can see me as I work. This is a music stand. Yeah, got to get creative. Oh, and I kept it. Okay, so we are going to take our watercolor brush. Please, if you love yourself, use a bigger brush. This is the tiniest one I have. The others are out of my studio and it's pouring right now, so I don't wanna go out there. Um, I'm gonna look like such an artist right now because I can hold this and paint. The trick with watercolors in a canvas is I first like to apply the water to the canvas. So you dip your brush into your cup of water and come into one of the sections and start applying the water. Woohoo, so fun, I'll do it to a couple of them. Cause I'm crazy. It's not really that crazy, whatever. And then you add water and come and get some on one of your watercolors. We'll do red, cause that's fun. And then look, as you start to put it on, it'll start spreading. Ooh, pretty. Okay, and then I'm just gonna come and 
you can be more precise than I am. I'm just kind of crazy because I've done this before. And so I'm just going to come wherever I want to add some red because I just like to stick with one color at a time, make my life easy. Yeah, and just let it spread. Add more water to like get it to move more. Isn't that fun? And so this is what you're going to do for all of the sections. But shake up the colors. You know, I'm just doing a few sections with this red. And you can get right on top of that washi tape because it's not going to go under it. Isn't that awesome? I'm now going to start blending colors. So let's see, red. We can mix it with an orange. You don't have to get too crazy. Don't be afraid to go crazy with art. Art is so fun and freeing. You can do whatever you want and people can't be like, that's bad, because guess what? It's art. And this is very abstract too, so. We're just mixing the colors. I love this because a lot of the times um, when my friends and I get together, I wanna do a craft and they're like, Mary Grace, we're not, we're not artists. We don't art like you do. Don't worry. You know, this is it's just you doing stuff. And when we take the washi tape off, it's going to look real good. And people are going to be like, you're an artist. And you'll be like, yes. Yes, I am. You just got to own it, you know? So, yeah. I just mix kind of all the colors together. I mix my warm colors together, which are reds and orange and yellows, and then I keep trying to mix my cool colors together. Okay, I will say, probably the only negative of painting on something like this where the canvas is tilted is that all of the water is going to rush to the corner, and that's like fine-ish, but not fine -ish at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, I just have to add less water, um, or I added water there. And you could get like a color scheme going. I'm not going to do that because I love colors. So we're gonna add tons of colors. It's like we'll add blue here. I mean, y'all, like I said a thousand times, is you can do whatever you want. It's art. I used to take art in high school and it was my favorite class because I could do whatever I wanted to, like artistically. So that's, that's exciting. Much fun. Okay, so you can continue doing this. And also, something to know about watercolors is it kind of dries quickly. So you can just add more water to blend the colors again if it dries faster than you're moving. Um, just add a bit more water and they blend right together. So no worries there. Um, yeah. So much fun. Okay, so we'll just keep doing this. I'm just mixing all the colors. Woohoo! Um, and so then you'll do this for every single section. Now that it is all covered and lovely, I'm just going to make sure that all of the water is kind of picked up from the corners. Oh, there's a lot of water there. Um, I don't have any paper, so I'm just gonna, uh, it's like you're rubbing makeup on your skin, but it's paint, it's probably toxic, don't eat it. Yeah, so we're just gonna, and if you wanna speed up the drying process, because since we've been adding so much water to this, um, there is going to be, it's not going to dry as quickly. You can use a hair dryer, but do be careful, um, because hair dryers are hot. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot this little bottom corner. Whoa, that'd have been so sad for him. 
Uh oh, I totally got up under the washi tape. Make sure that you're being careful with the washi tape that it stays sticking down because as I said earlier, it, uh, it's not like the strongest tape ever. Uh, so it may, it may try to come unstuck. Okay, I did let my canvas have some time with the hair dryer. They got to know each other better and my canvas started feeling a little hot. So uh, we, we left. Um, but like I said, be careful if you're using a hair dryer because hair dryers can get hot. And then also because if it's still really dry, you'll see the paint and the water moves around. And sometimes that can create a really cool effect. And sometimes you may think it ruins it, which it can be ruined. You know, it's just a different direction that your art wants to go in. Um, but yeah, you don't want to really remove the washi tape until it's super dry. So we're going to try this. Um... Oh shucks, I forgot which one was on top. Okay, we're gonna try this. So, slowly and gently remove your washi tape. Woohoo! And this is just gonna be a process. And y'all, mine's like super messy, but yours will not be. I went way too fast, I think. Oh my gosh, I'm like super impressed with how this turned out. And you can actually also frame canvases. So if you're super proud, which I'm sure yours turned out great, you should frame it and put it on your wall right beside your other beautiful pieces of art. So, woohoo, you hopefully maybe successfully decorated a canvas in a super simple way that anybody can do and anybody can be proud of. So thank you so much for joining me with Everything Artsy. I'm Mary Grace, and I will see y'all later. Bye.